another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to create these little KPI metrics uh, containers so you can add these to your dashboard. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually create a, a um, worksheet that will calculate the sales growth. Actually, we've got sales growth, profit, and actually we're going to create one that says um, order, number of orders. So the easiest way to do this is we're going to duplicate it, but since you may not be duplicating at home, we're going to create a new worksheet. We're going to bring over the order date to the rows, and we want this to be on the month in here because we're going to want month over month change. Next, we're going to grab the order ID, drop that in here. We're going to change this to count, distinct count because there may be multiple items on a particular order. So we just want to know the total number of orders, distinct orders. I have to come up here and change this to discrete. That will give us the table. All right, so that's the, the count. Pull that off the details. Now, I'm going to click and pull this over to filters. And we want month and year. Next. We'll just pick one here, two months. So that gives us the number of orders for August 2014 and September 2014. We want to see what the actual change is. So we're going to come down here, left click, we're going to do a quick table calculation, the percent difference. And we have that listed right there. Now, um, one thing we're going to do first is we're going to come over here to Growth, Profit. Under this filter, we may have seen this before, Apply to Worksheets. So we're going to select Selected Worksheets. And so now we can, get the, we can have it change. If we change the month for any one of these, it will change it for this item here. We'll just slide this over, call this Order Count just so we don't get confused. Now, what we want to do is we don't want both of these being shown. And we don't want this item up here showing. So what we would like to do is we're going to hide. Remember, I've shown this to this once before. We're going to hide this row. And that means the data is still there. Data is not being filtered out. It's still being used to calculate this percent. We got a percent there. Let's take a look at what this format is here. I think it is, let's see here, what is this? Blue, bold, 15. So we'll come over here. It's a lot easier if you're going to, if you just duplicate it, then all the formatting is the same. You're just changing some of the formulas. All right, so we're going to hide this. We don't want to see this. So we're going to show header, pull that off. Now you've got these two lines. We come down to row divider, I believe. We're going to get rid of those for the pane. Eventually, you'll be able to pick right up on where it's at. So now we've got the order count number. Now we're going to come to the dashboard. Now we need to get this yellow box. So we'll close that. Come down. We want to make sure it's floating. We're going to do image. We're going to pull an image over here. It's now going to come and ask us what image we want. Now I've already downloaded this yellow box. I just went to Google Clipart, downloaded the shape, and I saved it in my Tableau repository under shapes. This is where you're going to save, uh, if you have custom icons, you're going to save it in the same place. So we click, select yellow box. There we go. So now the real challenge becomes making sure that this is the right shape and size. Well, we got the right shape, but the right size and lined up correctly. The trick here is you see there's a couple other yellow boxes pulled open. We're going to select this one. You can see it's highlighted. The width and the height are 150 and 150. So we'll come back here. We'll just change this to 150 and 150. All right, so now it's the right size. Now we need to get to the right height. Come back over here. We're going to look. 
it's at the y coordinate 282. So we'll come over here and we'll change this to 282. All right, so now it is lined up. Now let's pull over. We need to, I want to create the text, the label over here. So we're going to come back to our dashboard and we're going to click text and bring that over. And we're going to call this order growth. And I believe we have this at 15 and bold as well. Let's see here. We'll have to edit this real quick. 12. That text. Got to highlight it. Select 12. Click OK. All right. Now you'll see that I've got the blue shaded. This one's blank. Or not no shading come under here off to the left hand side you're under the layout menu you select the text box you can come down here and select the text box as well background I just cl clicked blue all right so now I need to make sure come back over here I, I, the reason I come down here is so that I don't inadvertently grab one of these and move it so you can see the the profit growth is at the y7275 so we'll come here, change this to 275. Now we got to get these lined up. So when I select them over here on the layout, it'll highlight it on the screen. So here you can see it's eight, uh, 488 is the X. And what I've done, you can see that the width is 155, 155. This is actually, uh, we'll change this to 155 here in a second. But Profit is 155 and 30. We'll just do that now. 150, sorry, not 155, and 30. And then we got to line that up. So this says 488. Come over here to 488. And you can see this is very tedious. So if you're going to use these type of boxes, you're going to want to make sure that you use, you're going to be using it a lot. For one-offs, it's really kind of a pain. Okay, we need to put the border on. We're just going to put a thin border. There's the border. All right, so now the hard part is done. It looks like it could be lined up a little bit better. Now we're going to come to the dashboard. I mean, the dashboard tab. We're going to grab order count and bring that over. Make sure it's floating. We're going to hide that title got the number right so now we're going to come back to layout and we're looking at the sales growth or there's a profit growth you can see that it's at 300 sales growth is actually just change that to 300 and then we'll come over here to order where is it there we go order count 300 and if we remember right order growth was at 488 so maybe we'll make this one 488 as well 488 and we actually what happened here profit is at 300 maybe this I'm not sure why the shape is I'm not sure why that didn't line up like I was expecting it to. So this is actually not showing up as transparent. So we need to go back to order count and need to go under format menu, come down here to shading. You want to look at the sheet. You see this worksheet, it's got white. Usually you can't really tell because everything's white. In this case, we want to select none. That way the color behind is going to come through. And there we've got it. The thing that's cool about this, which I was a little bit worried about at first, let's see here. You remember we've hid that one item, that one month, September has been hid. So if we change it to November, November is hid. I mean, October is hid. So you can change it. 
and the correct month will, will hide. Now come over to the sales dashboard and you'll notice that the, this number is now a little bit out of whack. So that's where we need to come up here and press 300 because there's been a change. And now it links up, lines up, and come over here. We'll look at the order growth. It's 488 under the X value. We'll come under the count. 488. And now we also need to come back and change that. So the order count, the shading, is none. Oh, the issue now is the row. Because when we start moving, what you can't see, you know, as you're coming down, you're moving down all these rows, they have rows that are hidden. Kind of like if you came to the check tab, it has that shading. Now as you change different rows, different items would be showing. So if you were to move like this, different months would be showing. And so now you've got, you could probably actually move this over a little bit. You gotta be careful of the negative when that shows up. And we'll just move that over. Or 90. There you go.